Hello, third grade. Here we are one more time, ready to go on learning and with a new topic that is the most exciting thing. So now we are going to say hello to everyone as usual. So come on, let's do it with me. Ready? Hello, clap your hands. Hello, stand your feet. what is behind me I know but it's something that you don't know mm -hmm. let's see what is it so we have here a clock a beautiful clock look a perfect circle okay and we can see the time what is the time but first of all let's remember something the short hand is telling me the hour the short hand is telling me the hour. This is the, the short hand is the hour hand. Hour hand. Okay. And what about this one? How do you call this one? The long one. The minute hand. The longest. The longest. Is the minute hand minute hand okay if I ask you what time is it most of you can tell me okay teacher 2 30 2 30 okay it's correct 2 30 but there is another way to express that time how can you say it half past two yes you are right half past Two. Why? Why do you think that is that? Because if you are in two, it means that half of the hour, half of the hour, remember how many minutes you have in one hour. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. So here we are telling half that half of this hour has passed. Okay, so that's why you say 230 because the half of 60 is 30. Yes? So perfect. Here we are perfect. We say half past two. Okay, great, no problem. What about now? What about if the minute hand is here? Okay. It's right here. What is the time? You say two, two, oh five. Okay? Two, oh five. Good. But you can say it in another way. We are not going to use half because half is here. But we are going to use past. Five minutes past two. Okay? Good. Perfect. But now comes something that is different. Let me write this in somewhere else. Here, for example because it's important to remember that one hour has 60 minutes. Okay, what happened if this hand, instead of being here, okay, let me change this. Now, the minute hand is here, oops, the minute hand is here, and the hour hand is here. This is a tricky one. 
pay attention. Let's see if you remember from last year. Okay. What time is it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing is, when the minute hand pass the half, that is to say to this side, this one is going to move. I don't know if you remember the watch that we have in the school, the yellow one, when I was moving the minute hand, the hour hand was moving too, because that is what happened. At the moment that the minute hand is moving, the hour hand is moving to the next hour too, but this one is, sl is slower than this one. Yes, this one is fast, and this one is moving slow. Okay, so now what happened? What is the time? If you say, if you say 3.55, um, it's wrong. Because what happened is not three yet. It's not three. It's almost three. So what are we going to say? How many minutes do we need to be in three? Five minutes. So how are you going to express that like this? Five minutes to Five minutes to three. Five minutes to three. Okay? That, can you see the difference between them? Okay. We need five minutes to reach three. The next hour. That is three. Okay. If you said, as I said before, 355, it would be like this. This is 3.55 because it's almost 4. And how can we express this using 2? 5 minutes to 4. That is the part that you have to pay attention. When you are in this side of the clock, you are going to use, when the minute hand is in this side, you are going to use past. But when the minute hand is in this side, you are going to use the word to. So you must pay 